Hi, this is Katie. And my hair's doing this today. Can you see this? See this? It's cruising for a bruising. Don't I look like I'm in high school right now? Like, I don't mean like somebody in high school right now. I mean like me 15 years ago. I was not in high school that long ago, was I? I don't know. I'm gonna do a quick video on how to tell your friends and family that you are sleeping in your car. Ready? Here's some different scenarios. Okay, you're, okay. So you decide to live in your car for whatever reason you want to because it's your life and you can do it if you want because that's what life stands for. Little igloos from Eskimos. See, Eskimos can make igloos, you can live in your car. So anyway, say you are telling your parents this is how you do it. Pretend this is a phone. Hey mom, so um, I'm pregnant and I don't know who the dad is. And then after your mom yells at you for five seconds, JK, JK, ha ha ha, I'm just kidding mom, I'm just living in my car. Yeah, that's it, yeah. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I have enough food. Yeah, no, it's safe mom, I swear. I mean, I don't think people watch me sleep, but I don't know. Okay, ma, all right, okay, oh, okay. All right, oh, okay, all right. And then you just have to hang up on her, probably. That's not actually what happened when I talked to my mom. I don't know what did, actually. I think she just told me I was weird for five years. I, I love you, mommy, I love you, mommy. This is another phone, okay? It's the same, the same phone, but a, but a different phone call. Hey Bob, guess what? I just decapitated like nine kittens. And then after they yell at you for a few seconds, no, I'm just kidding, I just live in my car now. Yeah, yeah. uh-huh. No, I know, but I don't wanna sleep on your couch, it's okay, like my car's fine, I swear. Yeah. No, I have Spider-Man to keep me company. No, not like a real guy dressed as Spider-Man. No, it's like an action figure. Yeah, okay, okay, I'll, okay, I'll be there in 10 minutes. These phone calls. My imaginary friends and family are not very understanding. Here's the third and final way that you can tell somebody that you're living in your car. Give me a fake person to talk to. Joe Biden? That's a, a weird request, but okay. Uh, hey Joe, what's up? Yeah, yeah, no, I just got some cool news. Um, so I decided to live in my car. I know, it's cool, right? Like it like saves me money on rent, and I can like go wherever I want. I don't have to worry about owning all this furniture and crap that like ties me down to one place. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I mean, you can come over and we can play checkers. I mean, do you mind sitting in the car? Okay, yeah, cool. I'll bring some iced tea. All right, I'll see you in five, bye. I think the moral of the story is just be honest and, and then people will understand. What is that noise? Sounded like a helicopter. Going down a slip and slide. So there you go, with my super helpful tips about how to tell people living in your car. <laughs> Do you guys hear what just happened? The train thing, horn thing, went off, and then it made a car alarm go off because it was so loud. <laughs> that was funny. Oh boy, I'm gonna go get in some air conditioning and probably actually get some iced tea for me and, me and Joe Biden. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, you could subscribe, that would be nice. And then you could see my face twice a week because who wouldn't want that? I don't know. I love you and Jesus loves you and I'll talk to you later, bye.